Gabby Dean Martino is coming out to defend her sister Nikki against some of the drama that she got into earlier this year from a now deleted video titled Real Problems of Mine That I've Hid From The Internet Opening Up In My Car. And basically in this video, she was talking about a lot of the struggles that she was dealing with at the time and she got a lot of backlash from it and so she ended up taking it down. But clips surfaced from the video online and that's what got her a lot of the hate because there were certain clips in this video and they were just like, what is she talking about? Like, seriously, what is going on here? Just feeling like she was really privileged and the things that she was saying, it just didn't make her look good, the clips that were surfaced. And like I said, Gabby is now coming out to defend her because she has some strong feelings about the reaction that Nikki received from this video and the clips that were going all around online. So in this, she was talking about the struggles of adulting, navigating this life as a public figure, and as someone who just went through a breakup. She was basically trying to say that she's figuring some things out for the first time and that her house is a lot more expensive than she would like it to be. And because of that, she doesn't have the luxury of being able to live how she once was. And some people looked at this negatively because there's obviously a lot of things that people struggle with on the daily and hearing an influencer talk about not being able to shop isn't something everyone wants to hear about. Obviously, more than one person can struggle and struggles look different for everyone but it just wasn't coming out the best in some people's eyes. There's literally no money going towards me anymore. I can't tell you the last time I had a shopping spree that wasn't a sponsored video. A lot of the things I wear are sent for free in exchange for a post or it's a sponsorship. I miss shopping sprees. I used to love shopping. There were things that were said in this video. It was floating around on TikTok. That's where I saw it. And I was like, what? Like, no way. Like, this is really what's being said here. But I will say that she came out with videos after this one that kind of explained a little bit more in depth the situation with her house and why it was so expensive because a lot of people were like, you know, why would you buy a house that is like way more expensive if you like, you know, don't want to budget and all that stuff? Like, why don't you just settle for a house at a lower price and all that? And she did break down the fact that she was thinking it was going to be 50-50 with her boyfriend at the time and they're not together. And so that played a big part into it. But the clips that people were seeing, it didn't include any sort of that information and it just wasn't looking good. She was trying to explain that this was basically the first time that she has had to manage her life and get organized in a way because they've had a business manager who handled everything for them since they've gotten big and she felt like she needed to be more aware of finances and things like that. Out of college with Gabby is the second our YouTube career took off and it's the second we started making a ton of money. But that's also the second that like my growth kind of stopped because my parents saw that we needed help and that it was moving too fast and they, they're dentists, they're busy. So we got a business manager and the business manager helped run the business. You start asking for help, you start relying on people for help and then all of a sudden you don't know anything anymore. I don't know how old my friends and family were when they started paying their own bills, but all I know is like there was a point in my life where I realized, oh, I should know that. I should definitely know that. But like I turned 19 and I had a business manager. I never have paid a bill in my life. I've never had to do that without even having to worry about budgeting, which is like the biggest blessing now that I have to budget. And the video really got big and really just got her a lot of backlash when she ended up using the term house poor, which was the thing that everyone really judged her for. I hate this term, but I just learned it today. But like house poor? I'm paying my mortgage. I can pay it. But it's a really high mortgage. Laying out like an arm and a leg. My income hasn't changed that much. Yeah, granted, we haven't been posting on Nikki and Gabby as much. The reason why I felt comfortable getting a house in 2021 was because I was making so much money on my own. I didn't, I, I honestly could afford living in this house without even posting on Nikki and Gabby. And that's what made me feel okay. The thing with now is like, I'm paying my mortgage, but I don't have really wiggle room anywhere else in my life. Now in the recent video that Gabby and Nikki did together, they did a truth or drink and they asked Gabby if she was house broke as mostly a joke because of the fact that Nikki had gotten so much hate for her video and she wanted to take the time to 
stick up for what Nikki had said in her original video that got deleted, that she took down, and let people know that she was just trying to be vulnerable in that video, and it was messed up that people judged her, and they took her vulnerability and made it seem like, you know, she was just this stuck-up influencer. You house broke too? <laughs> Dead. Wow. Okay. You house broke too? Wow. They just cut right to the chase. Um, no. So when I bought my house, it was just a completely different scenario because I had my first home before this home and the market was so much the better. The interest rates were so different. I had bought my first property in 2018. I built some home equity and then I also got my second home when interest rates were great. So no. Not Ready? Let's say the interest rates we closed on. Ready? One, two, three. Two Nine. Percent. Nikki has gone through so much this year and just like being her sister and like watching everything she's gone through she was just trying to be authentic with you guys and letting you guys in on her personal life so i just don't agree with how the internet reacted to that video so, wow yeah y'all were fucked up for doing that because she had to go through another wave of sh after you guys misinterpreted her being raw with you so that didn't make me happy as a sister to see that so thank you yeah Gabby went on to defend her some more, even though Nikki was saying that as an influencer, your problems aren't the same as other people's. And some people wish that this was their problem. And obviously I feel like she was saying this because that's what a lot of the comments were saying at the time. A lot of people that saw her video were like, these are influencer problems. Like, I wish these were my problems. I wish that, you know, my biggest problem was that I can't go on shopping sprees and telling her that, you know, if she's so unhappy with the whole situation, you know, why doesn't she just downsize? The house is really big and everything. And she was also trying to do all these renovations and everyone was just like, you know, that's adding up in costs too. So if you're going to complain about it, do something about it. And so I feel like that's why in this video, she was like, Gabby, like, you know, no, 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 because we're influencers, we can't have problems. And I think that she definitely feels that way because that's how the comments were basically telling her. And I, I will say that obviously everyone has problems and everyone deals with things. And obviously some people's problems are worse than others and influencers are privileged. And some of those people really do need to recognize that they are privileged. I definitely think in the video that she took down the whole like, you know, I can't go on shopping sprees thing. It's okay for her to be sad about it, but I definitely think that, you know, now she's more aware that that could like rub people the wrong way if she like talks about, you know, I miss shopping sprees on the internet. So I definitely think that she learned a lesson in recognizing her privilege as an influencer. And I think it was just the wording of the original video or something, because had she had just said my mortgage is really expensive and I bought it thinking I was only going to be paying 50%, people would probably have been like, I would be upset too. I would be really sad that, you know, I bought this house and my boyfriend and I were going to split the mortgage and now I'm stuck paying the whole thing and now I have to budget my life and I can't do shopping sprees and things like that. I think had that been the exact wording of the video clips that were going around, everyone would be like, okay, that's totally valid why you're sad and why you feel that way. But because that wasn't mentioned in the clips that were going around, I think that's why everyone was just like, why are you complaining? Like, why did you buy that house then? Because people didn't really know that that was the plan. And so Gabby was sticking up for her in this video. Guys, you better watch what you say online. Like, there's people behind these bodies. There's so no, no, it's fine. No, people have worse problems. So that's Can why, just... as a public figure, you have to realize you have you have a responsibility because your problems may be someone like someone wishes they had but our other, lives. But other people's problems shouldn't take away yours from yours. Because no, that... she was she was supposed to move in here with someone she's in a relationship with. Just guys, please just give her cut her some slack. Why are there so many comments about this video that you were? making to I just tell it's, people the truth now since all of this nikki has been open about her breakup and more open about the house and things like that but i just think that what happened in this video where the clips went around people weren't aware of the reason why she was technically calling herself house poor and why the house was so expensive and why you know she was upset about the whole thing and it definitely makes more sense now i will say that you know, she planned to only pay 50% of that mortgage, but the whole thing just obviously got very messy and her sister was finally coming out to defend her. And that is what they had to say about this situation from a couple months ago. I certainly want to know what you guys think about the whole thing in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.